Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll share some strategies to ace paper 2. Now first, I'll share some general tips and then we'll move on to subject-specific tips. Oh, okay, in paper 2, always remember that it covers all the chapters, so uh, you need to study all of them. You may have studied um, them for paper for, pa for your other papers, so for this time, just quickly review your chapters, especially focus on the chapters that you're weak, that you're weak on. So uh, what you can do is that you can um, divide your day into two parts. You can uh, divide some time to review the chapters, but spend more time on practicing your past papers. Make a timetable that specifically suits you and your specific weaknesses. Alright, let's move on to past papers. To ace paper 2, remember practice is key. Practicing will help you to uh, give you an idea of how much you can solve in specific time. Focus on 2016 onwards and uh, try to do one variant per each session because uh, if they're in the same variant, the questions are often repeated. Okay, so try to do one variant. Next, always try to time yourself. Whenever you're doing their exam paper, put a time clock. There are approximately 40 questions so uh, and 45 minutes. So approximately you can do is that you can give one minute per question. Try to finish all the questions and also revise, the, revise your answers during that time period. Another thing to notice is that all questions have equal worth. Whether they're hard question or the easy question, they only carry one mark. So you don't have to spend so much time of, for, of figuring out the hard question when you can easily gain one mark in an easy question as well. So, uh, that, so try to finish your paper first. And if you have time, go back to the hard question. Now, um, also try to do some paper with an OMR sheet. Using an OMR sheet will prepare you beforehand. So you have to shade with a pencil, okay? I will link link in the description. All right, now I want to share some tips to improve your marks in uh, paper two. Remember to focus on quality, not just quantity. That means whenever you are doing a paper, when you solve a paper, uh, check it with the marking scheme and find your mistake. Note down your mistakes uh, to either take a screenshot or write them in a notebook and learn them so that when you when you are doing that paper again, you don't repeat them and you don't lose the same marks again. Not So that means don't just solve it, also learn your mistakes. That's very important because a lot of people just solve a lot of papers without significantly improving their grade. Learning your mistakes will help to improve your grade. Next, um, if you are struggling with the topic uh, that you uh, keep on repeating the mistakes on, uh, figure out what that topic is and do topical questions on that. And then uh, if you still struggle, it's a good idea to go and re go back to the chapter and review it. Now we will discuss some tips for sciences starting with physics. Now it's very important to master all the key formulas. Uh, make sure that you can recall the important formulas such as speed, acceleration and force. But uh, don't just focus on that, focus on the theory part as well. Make sure that you, you, you know the definitions and all that because you'll get uh, straightforward questions. Next, learn to interpret graphs and analyze them. Also make sure that you can identify the diagrams of fine res resistance or something like that and review the electrical symbols. Next, uh, learn all the units and conversions. For example, how to convert from uh, millimeters to micrometers. Learn the prefixes. For example, gigawatts is 10 power 9 watts. Now we'll start with chemistry. Make sure that uh, you, you know chemical equations really well. Learn practice balancing them so you can quickly balance them during the exam. Learn, uh, learn and understand periodic table trends. What happens as you move from left to right or up and down? What is happening to the metallic properties, for example? Uh, make sure to learn all the key definitions um, biology now first it's very important that you know all the definitions i have made a video where i've discussed most important uh, de definitions for biology that you need to learn which is in the link below next i uh, learn all the processes for example photosynthesis respiration learn about different systems uh, for example red circulatory system review all the cycles the nitrogen cycle carbon cycle and so on next uh, make sure that you uh, know the label diagram of all the important uh, things that you've studied for example the structure of a flower for example uh, because you can be asked to identify different different structures and these are some important points to ace paper too